Okay, welcome back to the Pair uh, Video 16 of the Pair uh, PHP Video Tutorial Series. We're still working on the structures and data grid. Uh, this series again is brought to you by Imagination Everywhere and RIA Institute, RIA Institute. I am Amin Mojara, your presenter. And in this video tutorial, we're going to focus on uh, modifying the last uh, uh, web page that we did so let's go into uh, uh, expression web and here we got modifying an SQL result set so uh, if we remember um, if we go to example 2 let's go to example 2 first uh, if we remember if we go to example 2 we had a situation where uh, it connected to the database and it pulled up all of this information well what if we don't want to want, want to have to do that so let's close out of that and here we go um, what we do is basically um, we again have your function for the error message and then we got the include one structure data grid dot php uh, then we got the error handling for the ph uh, for the structured uh, data grid dot php class then we create a new uh, structured data grid but then within the constructor here we can add some variables or we can add some uh, uh, commands so it's so we're saying create a new structured data grid but only include five records on the page I mean in this data grid we only want five records in this data grid so again we have the bind method right here where you know we it's a MySQL uh, 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 software uh, PHP admin username I don't have a password so it's at localhost and then we're, we're coming from the world database then we look at the bind method DG, which is uh, the variable for the new structure data grid, we're going to bind and we're going to select some of some of the columns. We're going to select the code. We're going to select the country name, the country code, and the country region from the table from the country's table. And of course, the options is the uh, binding of the the uh, C, uh, MySQL connection and the data source driver that we're going to use is the uh, NDB2 and then we're just going to render it as an HTML table so if we run this we have five records and three columns we have the code, country code, the country name, and the country region so that was pretty simple um, furthermore what if we just you know I mean if we look at it again let's run it again you know it's all bunched together you know it's not really spaced properly you know you can't tell if the Netherlands Antilles the Caribbean is the country or the region or is it the country code it's all googly gob together so in order to like format it you know the best way to do it is is to use a style sheet is to use a, a cascading style sheet um, and basically you can get it from uh, the site that we're doing this tutorial on um, here's a style sheet just you know you copy the styles right here and since it's only one table we're only talking about styles for one table if we uh, go here I've already copied the uh, information within the style sheet so here's a style sheet and the way that we include it in PHP excuse me is we go up to the uh, head um, section of the uh, HTML page and create a, a link and we go style sheet and styles one which is this right here and then the media screen and then close that off 
Now remember, this is the style sheet. So these are the styles. When the uh, when the PHP renders the page, this is what's going to be produced. So if we go ahead and run the page, voila, there we go. That simple. And if we look at the page source, as you can see. that's how it is you got the uh, the style sheet and everything in, in in front of it so as you can see you know this is the way you can format a table and of course we're gonna get more in depth into uh, into formatting and things like that so uh, thank you and uh, the next one we're gonna be looking at is using other data sources to, to bind to the uh, uh, data grid thank you and I'll see you in the next video